This guy is a crazy mastermind. Glitter is the herpes of arts and crafts, okay? That's never getting out. This guy took a package from my porch, and now he's about- This guy took a package from my porch, and now he's <gasps> That's messed up. And now he's about to open it in his car, but what he doesn't know is- I saw this. Oh, is this the glitter bomb thing? Dude, I love this guy's channel. But what he doesn't know is this is a custom-built bait package that is recording him on four different cameras, and it's about to unleash a pound of the world's finest glitter, along with some- Yes! A pound of the world's finest glitter, along with- Oh, sh- but to understand how we got to this point, first, we need to rewind. Oh, this is so amazing. About seven months ago, I noticed a package being reported as delivered, but it never arrived. So when I checked our security cameras, I noticed this lovely couple out for a stroll. Oh no, are you serious, a couple? This happened to me, like, three weeks ago. That's so sh As you can see, they have backpacks on, and they're just going around the neighborhood making an afternoon out of this. Wow, these are professionals! And if you've ever been in a situation like this, you just sort of feel violated. And then I took yes. this to the police, and even yes. and then I took this to the police, and even with the video evidence, they said it's just not worth their time to look into. So then you really? also feel powerless. And I just felt like something needs to be done to take a stand against dishonest punks like this. Sometimes you have to take things into your own hands. Ultimately, when they opened the package, I just wanted to celebrate <laughs> their choice of profession with a cloud of glitter. Because, this is amazing. I mean, but I also wanted to to record their reaction and that's what makes the engineering here an order of magnitude more difficult because if you think about it this thing has to sit on a porch all this guy is a crazy mastermind so after six months and lots oh of oh my gosh six months testing, no normal person would ever take the time to do this but he's like you know what i'm so upset i'm gonna do it this custom printed circuit board is the brains of the operation it has a built-in accelerometer and when it's jostled it will check the gps signal to see if it's been moved from the porch and if so oh my god he's so smart it sends a signal to all the phones to wake up and start recording. And I'm using four phones that have a wide angle filming mode. He and bought four phones for this? He put a lot of effort, a filming mode money, and, and just mental energy into this. So as you can see, I'm guaranteed to- Oh my God, I would spend so much money for this. And nestled in here, we've got a can of fart spray. No joke, you can clear a room with one spray of this stuff. So Dude, I've smelled, smelled that before. It's just like one, it's so fucking gross. Not only is this just a nice touch, but we keep repeating five sprays every every 30 seconds until they throw the package out of their car or house before they realize there's four phones inside. That's insane. Before they realize there's four phones inside. This is our chances of finding it because we- oh man, I'm so excited to see where this is gonna go. We always know the package location at all times due to the GPS on the phone. He thought of everything. This guy is a genius. All four phones have LTE data plans, so they upload the footage to the cloud. Wow. We'll see what happens. And then for the piece de resistance, we have a cup here on top that spins from a motor underneath. So once you load in a butt ton of the world's finest glitter, the motor spins really fast and the centrifugal force fires- Scientists, man. I would have just put Doc Boo. And then finally, to make it look like an actual delivered package, we added some shrink wrap and a delivery label. A whole delivery label? Perhaps my favorite part of the whole thing. Because if the thief wasn't in such a hurry, they'd see that the package is actually coming from my childhood hero and inspiration for this project, Kevin McAllister. This is the best part. Yeah, the Home Alone reference. So the idea is the bad guy comes and takes it off your porch, then lifts the lid, and these two limit switches tell the circuit board brain inside that the lid's been removed. And then that sets everything in motion. And I may be biased. <laughs> nice. So I put it out on the porch, and now all that was left to do was wait. Who are these people that steal packages? Okay, so I was at work, and I got a notification that the geofence we set up had been tripped. So He's so excited. So then I checked the cameras, and sure enough, the package is gone. So I checked the GPS and sort of tracked it, and it appears they're in a car because they seem to leave my house pretty quickly, but it seems to have stopped in a parking garage, which is where I'm headed to now. And if you're new here, this isn't a prank channel, so I am completely out of my comfort zone. Oh my god, yes! And there she is. Oh. See, I think the perfect part of like this is a prank is it's only a prank if somebody's an a Oh sh it worked! So it appears he was walking down the sidewalk <sighs> and then suddenly makes, makes me so happy. I love this video. Then he takes the package and gets in his car and eventually makes it to this parking garage where this glorious sequence unfolds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Remember, glitter is the herpes of arts and crafts, okay? That's no never way. getting out. No way. That's what he gets. I wouldn't have blurred his face. Hang him out to dry. Dunk on him. 
Oh my god, dude. I don't know what this is. <laughs> That's what you fing get. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. That's bold because the car is in the driveway right there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they all have the same reaction. Imagine just like seeing his obituary, like cause of death, glitter bomb. <laughs> this is karma. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> the fart spray. It's just the pizza resistance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Another package stealer? This is so sad to me that these people are just like stealing off other you people's porches and just go home animal. like it's nothing. Keep the filthy <laughs> oh my god, that's perfect! Home Alone reference, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta vacuum it up, bro. So the moral of the story is, just don't take other people's stuff. Yeah. Not only is it not cool, but on the plus side, you'll never find yourself in this situation. Or perhaps even worse, this one. Don't get in here. Who you had in here? <laughs> That's what he gets, man. Who you had in here? Yeah, I bet mean, you got a stripper in here. Oh my god. I am impressed and shocked that this guy went to all this trouble and it's so it's such a good payoff every time. So that was a video uploaded by Mark Rober. Mark Rober, he's the GOAT. The first video I saw of his was his uh like carnival game hacks because I've been trying to beat that one like rope ladder climb game for two years at Knott's Berry Farm and it's fing rigged and I knew it. He retaliated against package thieves by creating a booby trap that sprayed them with glitter and fart smiles while recording their reactions. I think that was so genius. The video garnered over 10 million views in less than 24 hours. What? Really? What do you think it was about this particular video that made it so popular? That is relatable. Everyone has that fear of like not getting their package. It does feel like justice was served, you know? Like now those people have learned their lesson. Don't take other people's stuff off their, off their front door. He used glitter and fart spray. It's, it's like a unicorn farted in, in someone's house. It's so like, weirdly relatable almost because he's excited about everything he's doing. I don't understand any of the math that goes into any of his videos, but it makes me interested because you can tell how passionate he is about what he's doing. Some have said this trap that Rover created seems to be a relatively harmless way to get payback for having your property stolen, while others think that this isn't enough of a punishment for someone who violates your privacy and commits a crime like this. Do you think this is enough of a payback or do they deserve more? Um. Part of me wants to say they deserve more. I guess it makes sense um, that police like have like other stuff to worry about, but this is just equally as important. What's he gonna do, like physically hurt them? He can't do anything that bad because then he's a criminal himself. So I think it's like the perfect amount of revenge. Yes, I think it's enough payback as long as he turns that footage over to detectives. It seems like, oh, it's a big nothing. No, one, no one's gonna find the guy. And that might be true, but it leads to a path of like, increasing patrol in certain areas or building a case on somebody. So it's very good to, you know, make those reports and report those crimes. So in 2017, a survey was conducted that showed that nearly one third of Americans have had a package stolen off of their front porches. Wow, I'm sort of shocked by that considering it's never happened to me. And about half of Americans know someone who's had a package stolen. Yeah, it's crazy. Have you ever had like your package stolen or know someone who has? Luckily it's never happened to me. I'm that 50% who knows somebody else that had it happen. My package has been opened before, but it was like a little figurine. They were like, what the f is that? <laughs> Just left it, you wouldn't want it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am laying in bed Thanksgiving morning at my parents' house up in Northern California and my motion detector goes off. And I knew that someone had dropped the package off the night before and I'm like, oh, I know it's happening. So I watched it live. It wasn't like I came home and like, oh, where's my packages? It was like, oh God, I, I, I see you, you dick. Finally, we gotta ask you, and you can be honest, have you ever been tempted to steal someone's package from their front porch? No, cause like, I don't know what's gonna be in it. No, cause that's a pretty shitty thing to do. It could be for their dying mother. It could be their medicine that they need to live. You, you have no idea what you're taking. No, never. Not because I'm a nice person, but because I know people like that will probably set me up. 
<laughs> film me and then it'll get out in the universe, so no. <laughs> I've had silly thoughts to myself like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if we just like took a package? But I never did it. I never did it. I have a good moral compass. But it never happened because I never, I never even approached a box. Never went that far. Thanks so much for watching Adults React, and shout out to Cherry Rabbit and Shadow Girl. If you want to catch the next episode of React, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching, and stay away from my porch. Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. We got some awesome t-shirts and hoodies that you should check out, so go to shopfbe.com to wear our merch and help support the channel. Thanks everyone, bye.